Hey folks, just uh, machining the um, fixture for the caps where I screw onto. I uh, started working with some hardened steel. I've never worked with hardened steel before. Uh, this is a uh, hardened, uh, it's 440C that's hardened to, um, what is it, uh, 50 to 55 Rockwell C. And uh, at first I started doing uh, this with no coolant for whatever crazy reason. And uh, you can see on, on the, the top corner here, over here, uh, how I sort of burned up that corner. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this insert back in. Um, I have some uh, PCBN inserts that are, or one PCBN insert uh, that I just posted on Instagram. And uh, I can use that, um, but I'm gonna see if I can get away with just using regular carbide. Um, it's a good insert, should last. Uh, I just uh, <laughs> was trying to wash the, the machining uh, and the insert got too hot and chipped a little corner off here. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put it back in and uh, I'll show you guys what's going on here in a second. Okay, so the insert is uh, back in the boring bar. Um, got the new piece of hardened steel in there um, just wanted to show you guys sort of the setup because once coolant sh starts spraying it's gonna be hard to see much um, the, the thing here is that there's a fair amount of stick out here you know that it, at the smallest point this thing's gonna be 0.372 um, so just under 3 eighths of an inch uh, and then about 2.4 inches uh, uh, 2.3 inches of stick out so that's pretty small for a pretty long part um, and the, the goal here is, you know, the, the more stick out there is in something, the more vibration there can be. So I uh, tried minimizing stick out on both of these. I uh, actually ground down the, the surface here and here uh, so that when I machine down the bar, or the, the actual stock piece of material, uh, this tip is below this, this area here. Same thing for this, the, the tip of that insert is higher than that, otherwise they would crash into um, the tool blocks. Those are all indicated in so that they're perfectly perpendicular to the, the work. Um, let's see, I guess it's time to go ahead and start this. Um, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, you probably won't be able to see a whole lot, but we'll give it a go. That up. All right, so that's a bit better. <laughs> you can see uh, where a part uh, came off <laughs> where it shouldn't have. Uh, there's a reason these doors are here. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start this. It's a good scream. All right. Really can't see any of that. Let me go ahead and stop this here. Uh, I'll come back after this is done machining. So machining is now done. Uh, There's a little bit of chatter on the last pass. Um, it's still acceptable though. Um, so this is one of the caps. The idea here is it's nice, tight, snug fit. Feels good. So we'll start machining those. Get the spiral pattern on the outside. All right, so now we've got that fixture made. Um, screwed on the uh, cap with the finial. So basically just uh, take in a finial, take in a cap, screw them together, put it on this fixture. You can't really see anything, but it all happens pretty quickly. Done. So the uh, spiral. It makes the grip. Is now done. Time to take them off, put on, uh, 
put on the um, clips and then uh, they're basically ready to go. Get screwed on to bodies and packaged up.